craft room crash and I'm in Pflugerville, Texas outside DIYer Erin Reed's house. Now she says she's been dubbed the queen of layers because she likes to add layers of fun and function to every project. So let's go crash her craft room and find out what Erin is making today. Hi, how are you doing Jay? I'm good Erin. Awesome, you want to come and see my craft room? Erin, the craft room is in the middle of the house. Yes, it's the best place for it. My craft room is in the center of my house. It's like the hub of my house. That way I can be a part of everything. It's like a central location. It's the heart. So everything has to have its organization because my kids are constantly traipsing in my room. So are you obsessed with organization? A little bit. A little bit because I see <laughs> this Yes. Whole, this just looks like a wall of organization. I love making things with my hands. I love being able to take something that is just pieces and put it together and make it something new and unique. An old bottle of booze, an old, you know, a frame, a picture frame that I've turned into something completely so different. So cool. Wow, what is trash is now treasure. Exactly. I mean, I think we need to get away from being in front of a screen in some way and getting and creating. So this is the thread that I used when I was doing my little friendship bracelets back in seventh grade. Is and this I, the actual this box? This is the actual box oh I started this is like, in. This is like a piece of history. <laughs> it brings people together. Creating brings people together. But I see lots of different formats here. So oh. like you're using fabric, you're using textures. My style is all fun and funky. I tend to add lots of layers. I've actually been dubbed the queen of layers. Could be layers of paint, layers of elements on top of what I've painted. I sometimes go a little bit blingy on my things. <laughs> so what are we making today? Today we are making a little cute, upcycled glass gift jars. Wow, okay. First, we're gonna punch out little hearts out of copy paper. Super simple. You wanna try a couple? Of course I do. Push! Oh, geez. <laughs> you really, I mean, the first I didn't have enough muscle. <laughs> and then we're gonna take the hearts and run them through our creative station. Why doesn't everybody wanna make things into stickers? I don't know. And stickers repositional on. stickers. Repositionable stickers. You got it. We are then gonna take the stickers and place them on our jars. You take a few and I'll take a few. And we can do anything we want, right? Anything you want. I'm going right down Main Street. Uh, I'm gonna go scattered. Okay, you go scattered. <laughs> and then we're gonna apply paint around the entire jar in whatever fun color you like. Hey, what's your favorite rock band? Ooh, Pearl yeah. Jam. Pearl Jam, all right, I'm a big fan of Nirvana. Sometimes <laughs> I like Rush. I listen to my heavy metal one. How's that? You do? I do. Really? Yeah. You're a rocker chick? Oh yeah. We're then gonna pull the stickers off and you've created a stencil that leaves the heart nice and clear. Mom, we need some paper towels. <laughs> Next, we're gonna make some paper tags that are cut down to fit to the size of the jars. Now we need to change out the, re the repositionable adhesive. Okay, can I put these away? Go for okay, it. Okay, so I'm gonna put these over here <laughs> and you're gonna change some things out. We are, okay. we're gonna change out the cartridge. Ta-da! Okay, and this is for our tag. This ah, is for our tag. Easy peasy. Double. <gasps> what? Yeah. This is literally double-sided laminate. It is. Next, we're gonna make glitter magnets. That's this is the easy. permanent adhesive. Okay. And just like before, we're gonna run them through. There you go. There you go. Okay. And then we have a couple of plates and some glitter over there. Oh boy. Now things are getting crazy with the glitter. Dab them in glitter and get them all glittery and fun. I don't know if you want to give me free reign <laughs> with glitter. Here. And then we're gonna run them through our creative station with a new insert, which is the magnet laminates. You cool, see them? Cool, yeah. All right, and then we're gonna load in so our next one. turning them into magnets? These are turning them into this magnets. This is genius. And then cut them out and turn them into little magnets so they're gonna fit on top of our jar. That's so cool. So line them up so you get a cup. Little and then you're gonna take your tack. This is so fast and easy and fun. What a wonderful idea. And not only you can do these for Valentine's Day, you can do these all season. Any season. Every season. Erin, yes. thanks so much for having me in your craft room. Thanks for coming. Absolutely. Thanks so much to Erin. Now we all know how to make an upcycled glass gift jar, and that is what Erin is making in her craft room. What are you making in your craft room? I'll see you next time. You can also be cool. Spa day. Hey, and don't forget, happiness is handmade because making something, making anything, is work worth doing. It's good work, right? Oh, it's always tons of fun. It's your life's work. Oh, yes. Yeah. My love's work. <laughs>